you're looking for ways to increase engagement and chat activity inside your Discord server, then a really good place to start is with a leveling bot. Leveling bots track users' chat activity, so every message they send, they get a certain amount of experience points. And eventually, once they get enough of these experience points, they will level up to a new level. And on the back end of the bot, what you can do is you can go in and set it to where whenever they reach a certain level, they get rewarded with a specific role inside the Discord server. In a way, you can take this even further to really make it feel rewarding for your users and actually kind of give them a reason to want to climb through those higher levels and get those higher roles is you can give those higher roles specific perks. Like maybe it's extra permissions inside the Discord server, like being able to share different links and GIFs and images and whatnot, or giving the highest levels access to exclusive giveaways or even exclusive channels in the server. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you guys what I think is the best leveling bot that gives you the most value without having to pay for any premium features. So the bot that we're gonna be using to set up this leveling system is called Arcane. I'll have the link for this bot at the top of the description below so you can easily add it into your server. So when you're on this page, what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to the top right and you're gonna to want to log in. Um, it might ask you to put in your Discord information, so if it does, just do that. And then you're going to select the server that you want to add it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my test server, which should be somewhere on here, and I'm gonna add it into that server. And then once you successfully add it into your server, you'll be greeted with the dashboard. Now the only feature that we're gonna be focusing on in this video is going to be the leveling feature, but there is more that they offer with this bot if you want to check that out yourself. So before we dive into the leveling on the bot dashboard, we're gonna jump into our test server here, and we're actually gonna set a few things up first. What we're going to set up here is we're gonna set up the roles that we want to reward users whenever they reach a certain level. So if you already know how to create roles and you wanna skip this part, you're welcome to, or you can watch along and I'll show you how to do that. You're gonna jump into your server settings and on the top left, you're gonna to go to the roles tab. Um, you're gonna create a new role. And for this example, we're, at, we're gonna go ahead and create four roles. So we're gonna do it one, two, three, four times. And you'll notice I have a ton of roles, just ignore all those. This is my test server. I had a lot of random bots and stuff to test privately. So now that we have our four roles at the bottom, now what we're going to do is we're gonna give all of these roles a name. Now you can customize the name to be whatever you want. For me, I'm just going to name them level five and it's just going to match the level that they're gonna to have to get to be able to get this role. Um, so that will be named level five. We'll do level 10, level 15, and then level 20. So now we've got our four level roles set up. We have five, 10, 15, and 20. Um, you can customize these more with colors and everything. I'm not gonna do that just for the sake of time. Save our changes here. And then there's one more thing we're gonna go ahead and do on the Discord side of things. We're gonna come down. You'll notice I set up a category called Arcane just to kind of get it away from all this extra testing stuff. Um, and we're gonna create a new category for, or a new channel. For you, this can be in any category you want. Um, but we're going to create a channel called leaderboard and I'll show you guys exactly what that's going to be used for in a little bit. Um, but for now, that's all we're going to do on the discord side. We're going to jump back into the bot dashboard. So now on the leveling tab, we're going to click configure and here is where we're going to be able to set up everything. So right up here at the top, you have a level up message. This is what we're going to use that leaderboard channel we just created for. This isn't something you have to do. Basically what this level up message is, is this every time someone levels up, this is what the bot is going to send letting them know that they hit a new level. This message can be uh, set up to be sent to a specific channel if you want. If you don't set a specific channel, then it'll just send the message to whatever channel that that user was typing in when they got enough experience to level up to the next level. I personally like it to go to a separate channel. So right, like general chat and stuff doesn't get flooded with messages from the bot. So that's why I had us create a leaderboard channel. So we're going to pick that channel and we're going to be good to go. So scrolling down a little bit, we're going to have Role of rewards. This is the important part that we're going to be diving into here. Um, so this is where you're going to set up what level users need to hit to be able to get what specific role. For me, I'm going to do, I'm going to match it to my roles that I created. So we're going to do level five, level 10, level 15, and level 20. So all you'll do is whatever level you want for your role, you're gonna type in the level number right there. And then on the right side, you're going to choose your role over here that you want to give. I'm gonna give the level five role for hitting level five. Once you pick them both, you click add reward and you'll notice on the left side, you now have a new role reward set up. So now you'll just rinse and repeat with the other roles that you have. So we're gonna do the same thing for level 10. We're going to type in the number 10 for the level and we're gonna find our level 10 role right there. We're gonna add it. We're gonna do the same for level 15. 
And then lastly, we will do the same for level 20. I think that's all the way here at the bottom. It is. So cool. Now we've got four different level rolls that will be automatically given whenever a user uh, gets enough experience. Now there's two ways you can set this up as well. If you want users to be able to have, if they hit level 10, if you want them to keep the level five roll as well, then you want to keep this stack reward setting turned on. If you want it to be set up to where when they hit level 10, it takes away their level five roll and gives them the level 10 and they've only got one level roll at a time, then you want to turn that off and that'll make it to where they only get whenever they get a new level roll, it takes away the previous one. A lot of people will also ask, well, how do I know how long it takes someone to hit a certain level? Up here at the top, you're going to have a level calculator. Um, it does, the bot doesn't let you edit the amount of XP that you actually get for certain messages and everything without a uh, premium. So we're not going to be doing that, but you can use the calculator to let you see approximately how long it would take a user to hit a certain level. So you can see right here, uh, you can type in any level you want and it'll tell you the average amount of messages a user has to send the max amount, the minimum amount and the realistic amount of time in minutes that it will take a user to actually hit that level. So let's say my first level is level, my first roll level is level five. So it tells me a user will have to send an average of 51 messages, a maximum of 92, minimum of 34. Realistically, it'll take them about one hour and 42 minutes of chatting to be able to get that roll. And going all the way up to the max one, that is level 20, it's gonna take an average of 759 messages and realistically, approximately five days and 19 hours. And another thing to note, you'll see this if a message is sent every 60 seconds, the bot is set up to prevent people from spamming. So it only gives, it only rewards XP for one message every 60 seconds. So if someone tries to jump in your server and spam a bunch of letters all at once, they're not gonna get a bunch of XP and be able to farm up to the highest level like that. They're only gonna get XP once every 30 seconds. So once you get your role rewards set up down here with all your levels that you want them to correspond with, all you have to do is click go back. That's gonna automatically save your changes and you're good to go on the bot dashboard side. So now to show you guys what it looks like when a user levels up, that's gonna be that level up message. Um, I'm not going to do it in my server because it's gonna take me a minute to be able to actually go up and hit that. But in this other server I'm in, you can see whenever a user hits a new level, this is what the message will look like. Now that it's good to note, this is just the, pre de the default message that's set up. If you come back into the bot, you can actually type in whatever you want to type in for the message right here. So you're welcome to edit that to your liking but the default message is going to look just like this it's going to ping the user and then it's going to tell them what level they have reached and a couple common commands that you're going to want to know really quick you have slash rank that's going to be able to show any user can use that command and that's going to show them what level they currently are and how much xp they have and how much they need to hit the next level and then you have slash leaderboard which is going to be a leaderboard of everyone in the server showing what level they are from the highest down to the lowest that's pretty much how to set up the leveling bot arcane now it's really good to note just because you throw this bot in there it doesn't mean it's automatically going to boost your chat activity and, enga and engagement you need to really give people an incentive to want to push for those higher levels and want to be active in the chat so that's when you're going to want to get a little creative and try to come up with some special perks that you can give to users that hit those different levels like i mentioned at the beginning of the video this could be extra permissions exclusive channels exclusive giveaways anything like that i mean there, there's an endless amount of idea creative ideas that you could come up with so sit down take some time try to think of some cool creative ideas that you could implement to those individual roles to make people actually want to hit those levels. But that's gonna be it for the video. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you did enjoy, please consider dropping a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the future Discord content. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I will see you in the next video. Peace.